Okay, everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. If you haven't followed me before, please follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Ralph's Trucking. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. This video here is about my two worst driving experiences. Here, let's roll the intro now. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that button be below and hit that bell. This video here is I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been driving since February 2000. That's correct. 19 and a half years I've been driving. This video here is about the two worst incidents I had driving a truck in 19 and a half years. Okay. The first one, I believe it was this. It was December. I believe it was 2012. I-90 South Dakota ice storm, traveling west towards Wisconsin, uh, uh, Washington State. I was running team. Me and my, I was driving. Got into a snowstorm, ice storm. Every exit was going up the hill, so I could not stop go up the hill because I would have broke. I wouldn't have got up it. So I just kept on moseying down the road, doing about 30 to 35 miles an hour. Every Johnny Big Wigger was blowing by me, something fierce. I had a truck with super singles, the wide tires on the trucks you can see nowadays. I had super singles on the truck, super singles on the trailer, and I also had different manufactured steer tires. So I believe that's what caused me to do this. And here's the following diagram of what I did. Okay, everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. Two of my worst incidents driving a truck in 19 and a half years. This is I-90, South Dakota, December, I believe it was 2012, middle of December, I-90. East-West Interstate. So I was going west. There's a median, of course. Ditch. Eastbound. And, of course, ditch. I got into a snowstorm, ice storm. The truck I was driving was an automatic freight liner for cargo transporters with super singles on the truck, super singles on the trailer, it was an automatic, and I had two different brand tires, steer tires. They would not change my steer tires to make them match. Well, I'm doing probably about 30 miles to 35 because it was coming down pretty hard. All the exit ramps were going straight up. And I didn't want to go uphill in an ice storm. I knew I, it wasn't going to take long to go through it, so I'm doing 30 to 35 miles an hour westbound. Trucks were blowing by me like I was sitting still. I usually are one of the trucks that goes sitting still. Like I said, December tw uh, 2012 in South Dakota. The truck broke free. It went almost all the way to the median. I got it straightened back up. I went almost all the way back to the shoulder. I got it straightened back up. It went back this time. I could not straighten it back up. And I went into the median. The truck went into the median and it turned this way, but the trailer was actually on the on I-90 in the left lane that kept me from turning over. So the truck was like this, the trail, and the tractor was like this. Didn't do no damage except to my underwear. And a thousand dollar tow bill. But that's one of my two worst incidents driving a truck in 19 and a half years. I 90, South Dakota, December 2012, I believe it was. Let me. All right, you can see I was driving west, truck broke traction, got all the way to the right. When almost to the median, I was able to straighten it back up. Yeah, I got almost to the shoulder. 
straighten it back up, went back into the medium, and I tried to snake it again, and this time it wasn't done. Went down the incline a little bit. Luckily, there was about a foot of snow that slowed me down, and I went straight. Luckily, it didn't lean over. It just stayed straight. The trailer stayed on I-90 on the west on the left lane, and that's what kept me from rolling over. So luckily, that accident taught me two things. One, when it snows and ice, I don't play no more. I park. Two, I wish that truck was an automatic, wasn't an automatic because I may not have wrecked. It was an automatic, super singles, and two different kinds of steer tires. That, I think, those three things right there caused that wreck. But luckily, there was no damage to the truck, no damage to the trailer, no damage to me or my co-driver. Only thing that was damaged was my underwear. So that's my first incident. Driving a truck since 2000. Okay, my second incident. I know what this day is because I have it on my phone. Sad I can't show you most of the photos because it shows the outside of my truck. I'll send in some of the photos so you can see without seeing the truck truck for the most part, some of the damage. I-64, West Virginia between Nitro and Charleston, headed east towards Charleston. There's a curve, I'm doing 60. There's a curve, so it's a blind curve. I'm doing 60, 65. Unknowns to me, there was beside the road, there was a service road and a wide load, hit the telephone pole and dropped this cable. This cable happened to hit my truck across the windshield in the side of my truck. My truck was in the body shop for two months. They had replaced the whole side of my sleeper. Well, it wasn't this truck, it was my other truck, my last truck. So, West Virginia, I-64, hitting the cable, that big around, I'll show you right now. If it didn't hit that spot mirror right there first, I probably would have been dead. That's how low the cable was. About six foot off the ground, that back of that mirror on my other truck hit that wire first, then it went across the windshield and across the side of my truck. Like I said, it hit that spot mirror up front, then it went across the windshield, it, it wrapped around my my mirror on the side. I'll try to give you some photos. I can't see much of the outside of the truck, but I'll give you some close-up video, some close-up footage without showing the truck to show you the damage this wire did. All because a wide load took out a telephone pole and dropped this cable across I-64. How many people think you're gonna hit a freaking cable that big around, aluminum shrouded on the interstate? And ever since then, I duck. When I see something low, I duck to this day. Okay, everyone, I hope you uh, see what my two of my worst incidents are. I don't know which one I would classify the worst. I'm still skittish on snow and ice. And every time I see a wire low, <laughs> I duck. But these are two of the worst deals I have driven a uh, truck in. You all have a great day. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Ring that bell for future content. I hope you enjoyed this video about my worst two incidents in my career. Thank you much. Have a great day. God bless.